Look at our GM out here shutting down rumors. Team keep it clean. Of course, we heard a couple days ago, uh, Trey Lance got traded officially from the 49ers to the Dallas Cowboys for a fourth round pick. So a third overall pick got traded for a fourth round pick. And he's expected to be the backup quarterback for the Dallas. And who knows? Maybe he could end up being a starter. We'll see how things go. But we ain't worried about that right now. The part that we were worried about when we heard that Eric DaCosta and them Ravens, they checked in on Trey Lance and the 49ers. They called to see, hey, like, we could offer something for Trey Lance. And that apparently they were interested in Trey Lance. And I was like, okay. Initially, I was surprised. But then I was like, you know what? No, I'm not surprised because they are really looking to upgrade the backup QB position. Uh, they tried to sign Baker Mayfield. They tried to sign Jacoby Brissett. Uh, they brought Josh Johnson back. Uh, they still obviously got Tyler Huntley. They brought Anthony Brown back, back again. That's a tongue twister right there. But they've made a lot of different moves at the backup quarterback position because may the best man win. So when it came out that they were interested in Trey Lance, I'm like, okay, I ain't got no problem with that. If they check it in, they check it in. No problem. Like, why not? Might as well. But Eric DaCosta said, no. Uh-uh. That's, that's not what happened. And here's what he said. He said, I would say that's just bad reporting. So he shut it down from jump. But then he followed up and said, if somebody calls you and asks if you're interested in a player and you say no, does that mean you're interested in that player? I said, oh, okay, the Costa. So it looks like somebody was really just trying to flip this, try, try, trying to build up some interest in Trey Lance, maybe trying to build up whatever market there was for Trey Lance, and they just threw the Ravens' name in there uh, just to – because it, it wasn't a lie that the Ravens talked to the 49ers about Trey Lance, but it wasn't what it was made to be. So Eric DaCosta, he cleaned all that up from, nah, that's not what it was. Uh, and then he followed that up. He said, uh, we've got good quarterbacks. We love our quarterbacks. We weren't looking to add any quarterbacks at all this training camp. Uh, that's what I would say on that. So Eric DaCosta like, look, we don't want no quarterbacks. We got our quarterbacks. We like our quarterbacks. We good on quarterbacks. Now, um, that reminded me of a couple years ago. <laughs> Because a couple of years ago, y'all remember the, the phrase, we like our guys, when he was talking about the wide receivers. <laughs> and he liked that guy so much that he ended up drafting a receiver and signing a couple of receivers too. But, hey, Eric DaCosta, he said that, this now this wasn't Lyle's luncheon now. So maybe he's telling the truth about this whole Trey Lance thing. But for him to go into detail like that, I, I, I think he was telling the truth. For him to bring out, oh, if somebody calls you and asks you if you're interested in a player and you say no, does that mean you're interested in that player? So I, I think he was just calling out whether it's the media, whether it was the agent. I think it was the agent. Um, but who he was calling out somebody directly, letting it be known like, no, we didn't want Trey. No thanks. Um, I, I really did think that that story was true especially given the situation with Tyler Huntley, who's still out. We don't know when he's going to come back. With Josh Johnson, who's looking like he's going to be the backup quarterback to start the season out. Um, I really did believe it. So it just made, it made a lot of sense. And again, we know whenever there's somebody that comes available, whether it's likely or not that the Baltimore Ravens get them, you know, Eric DeCosin, they, they be checking in. They do their homework on that player. They, they, they just get a feel for what it would take just in case. So... I mean, it is what it is, though. But Eric DaCosta, he had a lot more to say. And we're going to go over a little bit more of what he had to say tomorrow. So y'all subscribe, turn your notifications on, and come back because we got a lot more to talk about.